Okay, so two videos in one day. <laughs> um, just sort of popped into my mind this. I made a video earlier about how to print from Fusion 360 to uh, a slicer in high resolution. Now, there is one thing you cannot do with, uh, at least not with the uh, free version of Fusion 360, Fusion 360, and that is to export a file as high resolution. Let's say you want to export a file as high resolution to STL. Then you cannot change the parameters to export with a lot of polygons. <coughs> so this video I will actually show you how you can use the print feature to export your file as high resolution STL. You totally just disregard the export function in Fusion 360. Now there is one big drawback with this. This method you cannot export a multi-model uh, file as uh, high resolution. Because when you export from Fusion, you can select or export everything you see as one STL. You cannot do that with this method. And that is unfortunately, but what I'm providing you here with is a way to export files um, separately uh, as STL files, but as high resolution. So we'll start off with Fusion and uh, my little model here. And you go in and you see that you have a very smooth circle. And if you export this and open this file as an STL, which I have, I can just do it now so you can see, file, export, and then you make the selection use STL as file format. I'll just save it there and I'll just leave it with the same name, export, file exists, yes, overwrite. So now you would think that it would be as smooth as the model itself. That is incorrect because when you export a file you get a low resolution version of this. So this is actually a print I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to make a new sheet for that. So on this sheet I will import the smart materials that we had before. And already now you can see that it's low polygon because you have the ridges here. Now compare that to the ones I have printed from Fusion that is here. And you can definitely see that there is a big difference. This is the I'm just gonna flip that up and you can easily see it on the if you see this one compared to this one. Now in this you will be able to basically save your objects as high resolution STL files. So let's go back to that. I'll drag that back to that plate so you can have a, a version. Now in the other version uh, you will basically go back to Fusion and instead of print uh, exporting as STL you will basically print that file. So uh, you select that same object, you say export print, click on it. Uh, that didn't work as it was. Let's see again. File, print. Oh, something new here. Oh, really? But ca oh! <laughs> okay! This video turned into something totally different. <laughs> uh, apparently, Fusion 360 just updated itself and gave me some new features here. I was going to show you the print utility and give you the ability to just, you know, uh, resolution, uh, change the number of polygons here. You need to uh, select that one, of course. And then you can go and you can select those polygons and press OK. 
and then uh, <laughs> I'll end up showing you different versions now. And then you get the object printed like normal. And I will just flip that. And you can tell from these that this is now high resolution. It's shading it to be circle. Okay, so uh, what you can do then is you right click and you select export as one STL. And I can just select body one. Yes, I want to replace. And then I'll just close that window. And then I'll open the other one I had. And I'm gonna, you can see this is the low resolution one. So I'll go here and I'll just select, okay, I want to open another file, okay. And that is the body two. This is the low resolution one we exported before. And this is the one I saved using uh, this is the one I saved using Orca Slicer. Both of these are STL files now. Now, what I didn't expect was Fusion to actually <laughs> update itself in the meantime. So, what I saw here is that you go to File, Print, and then instead of printing, you can just select uh, Manufacturing or Export. Export is Object. And uh, what is what is uh, fun now is that the Unix, okay, STL, preview, and you get the drawbacks, refine settings. If I am lucky now, it says custom, yes, and it says 1379. But if I now go and set it to as small as pot possible, 1379 seems to be the smallest possible. You can see this is a lot of wireframes. And when I now press export, I get a message to save it. Body fine I can call it and save uh, now let's test another thing can I also export file print No, I can only select one object to print, and that is uh, that is one of the drawbacks. So let's check out that other file in Orca Slicer. Let's give these a different color. Red, that's the old uh, old one, and I can select this one to be white. That is the one I exported. Let's import the other one. Body fine. And lay it down like this let's see how that looks I would say that looks pretty nice so let's just bring them together just the knobs and I'll take this one which I just selected print on and I'll just Rotate that. Just for comparison. And let's see. So, okay. This. This is the printed one. Printed from uh, Fusion. This is the manual one. From exporting. It's just to show you the resolution. And this is the one I this is the one I exported from Orca Slicer after I had printed it at high resolution. And this is one I printed from Fusion 360 directly to uh, Orca Slicer. So basically uh I haven't noticed before that you could <coughs> export at high resolution in Fusion 360 
that is nevertheless a really good feature to have unless uh, but you have to use the print feature to be able to change the mesh count, mesh count for exporting and then you have to select export instead of print up here so yeah uh, yeah I think that's it turned into a better one than I had thought but uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe if you like my videos and uh, have a good one